Ukraine prepares for major attack deep into Russia. Drones are made that can hit more than 3,000 kilometers. A new ammunition has entered service with the armed forces of Ukraine. According to Build, media outlet, this year Ukraine will be able to use drones with a range of up to 2,000 kilometers or more. They will fill the shortage of medium and long range missiles. According to the source, by the end of the year, 10 manufacturers will supply the armed forces with drones with a range of up to 2,500 kilometers. Our specialists have developed the Sokol 300 drone, which can fly up to 3,300 kilometers, Build sources said. According to Build's calculations, the new Ukrainian weapon will be able to attack targets, for example, in the Murmansk region. There are about 80 military bases there. Among them is the Olenya airfield, where strategic bombers are based, which are firing on Ukraine. There, Moscow has stationed a significant portion of its bombers, which are increasingly participating in airstrikes in Ukraine. Strategic bombers such as the T-95 and Tu-160 are also deployed in this part of Russia. The range of the Sokol 300 puts Russian bombers deployed in the far north at risk. As a result, the Russian Olenya airbase located on the Kola Peninsula could be a direct target of the new Ukrainian drone. Reports suggest that a large-scale Russian attack on February the 7th was executed by nine bombers that took off from Olenya. The engineers from the Luk Design Bureau have designed an attack drone called Sokol 300, which can be powered by several types of engines. Its control system consists of an inertial block and laser gyroscopes, which were developed by the tool company Arsenal. The drone is equipped with RK-10P2M and RK-2P missiles, capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 10 kilometers. In addition, the drone can carry a synthetic aperture radar along with a small radar station. The Sokol 300 measures 8.5 meters in length and with a full wingspan, it reaches up to 14 meters wide. Russian control over Crimea, Sevastopol in question. Recently, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has presented the new heads of the Russian Navy, Northern and Black Sea fleets. Crimea.Rally media outlet. Actually, the admirals appointed to these posts were already acting as commanders, but Moscow preferred not to inform about Vladimir Putin's personnel decisions. It is noted that the very fact of the total change of fleet commanders is evidence that the Russian Navy has demonstrated its inefficiency and lack of modernity during the Russian-Ukraine war. One of the main narratives of Putin's aggression, control over Crimea and Sevastopol, has been questioned. The importance of the Black Sea Fleet staying in Sevastopol has always been one of the main political objectives of the Russian Federation, not only in Putin's time but also under Yeltsin. Sevastopol was perceived as the main base to dominate the entire Black Sea. However, the first major war has already demonstrated the failure of these plans. The Black Sea Fleet was not capable of interfering with Ukrainian trade and Sevastopol was constantly being hit by airstrikes, so much so that the Black Sea Fleet headquarters and other facilities had been turned from offices into targets. Russia has had to relocate part of its fleet urgently to an obviously unprepared bay in Novorossiysk and re-establish a reserve fleet in Ochamchira in occupied Abkhazia. It is clear that the responsibility in this situation should have been placed on the heads of the Russian Navy and Black Sea Fleet and not on Putin with his blitzkrieg plans and lack of understanding of how the world has changed. And this is despite the fact that in the past the Russian Black Sea Fleet could only fight against the weak, but when it was rebuffed, it went down safely. But as we know, Russian leaders have a peculiar relationship with history. Crimea.Rally says, It is noted that the question now is what tasks Putin will set before the new commander of the Russian Navy, Alexander Moiseev, and new commander of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, Sergei Pinchuk. Will he demand to preserve at least what is left or to restore the fleet's capabilities in the Black Sea, block trade routes and intensify strikes on Odessa, Ismail and other Ukrainian ports? Knowing Putin's megalomania, Crimea.Rally lean towards the second option. And this means that the Russian Black Sea Fleet will continue to look for trouble and lose ships. Especially since the new scapegoats, who will be responsible for Putin's further disappointments, have already been appointed.